Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to promote first domain controller. Domain controller or DC is a server where Active Directory domain service is running. A domain controller authenticates and validates users access on a network. Let's move to the server. This is my server. I will log in here. Before you start server promoting as a domain controller, we need to perform some action. First of all, ensure that you have set the password for your admin account because this account will become the domain admin and enterprise admin for your new domain. You can also you can do this like this here you can type comp comp mgmt.msc for here <coughs> check the user account which are available here set the password if not done yet i have done it so not required Then you need to set the IP address manually. For doing this, you can just type ncpa.cpl. Here. Since this server will become a DNS server as well, so we can add the same IP here 192.168. 192, 168, 100, and 100. This is my test invoice, so I can decide what IP I want to give here. But in the production, you should get these information from your network team. We cannot choose any IP that we want to in the production environment. You must get this from your network team. Please note one thing here, very important thing here. If your server is running on physical hardware, VMware, Hyper-V, you must set the IP address manually. That we did just now. But if your server is running on Azure, you must not add or modify IP address from TCP IP properties. IP address must be set or modify through Azure portal only. Otherwise, you will lose the server access. So you need to remember this thing. And you can also disable IP version 6. I have also created video how to disable IP version 6. You can you can watch that video and disable IP version 6 permanently. So now this is done. We should also disable firewall. I don't recommend to disable the firewall, but we should disable the firewall or check with your security team if we can disable the firewall. If if we can disable the firewall, it is okay. If we are not allowed to disable the firewall, we should keep firewall enabled and open the required ports on this particular server for disabling <coughs> what we can do if it looks like this so you just go here and just select these two box and okay IP version sorry firewall is off now we will move to the server manager this one we will get here this way at roles next we will select this role active right domain service then next, next, and then install. You can click here, or you can just type DC promo. Uh, 
and select OK. Next, next, select this button. Create a new domain in the new forest. Type any name of this suit your organization. But I would recommend to choose top level domain as a local which is not available in the internet like dot land dot local dot inter or something so I'm choosing this you can choose whatever you want to so it is good idea to choose the latest one We will select this box and select next. We say yes. In the production environment, it is a good idea to select the different local location like D drive or E drive. But this is my test environment, so I can just keep the same. Here we need to type the password. It is very important password. Keep it here and put it here or Save it in safe location. This password is required whenever you want to perform any activity in ActiveDRT Restore mode. So it is really very important password. Yes. We select this box, it will be removed automatically. Please note here that while promoting first domain controller, you are not only creating first domain controller, you are creating first forest, you are creating first domain, you are creating NetBIOS name for your domain. You are creating DNS server with many SRB records. You are creating group policy container. You are setting up net ANTP server for your clients. You are setting FSM role holders. And you are also creating first site in your domain and much more. So now it is starting. We need to wait. I'm not pausing this video deliberately. So just to avoid anything so that you can see what is happening. So that you can see all the contents which are required. Now this is applying some computer settings. There are many things to validate or check what has happened in this server now after becoming a domain controller but we will not cover each and everything we will just see some important things here and rest of the things I will try to complete in upcoming videos because every word is a big topic itself. If we talk about forest, if we talk about domain, if we talk about NTP server, if we talk about group policy objects, if we talk about FSM role holders, if we talk about sites, if we talk about the DNS or SRB records, if we talk about forward lookup zone or reverse lookup zone, everything is very important in the Active Directory and we need to understand what those are but this video is only relating to creating first domain controller in the organization so we will only cover this topic in this video so that it can be little short and it can cover 
all the required information that you want while promoting your first server as a domain controller. After promoting domain controller or bringing Active Directory in your domain, you are setting up a new way for authentication or authorization. Now it is ready. We are good to go. Just we will log in here. See, this is my domain, kernel, and this is my administrator. Then I will use the same password that I that that account is having. I logged in. It is preparing new desktop. As I said, we will not cover each and every topic, but we will see here. Now you can see many things are here related to Active Directory, Active Directory Admin Center, Active Directory Domain Trust, Active Directory PowerShell Module, Active Directory Site and Service, Active Directory Users and Computer, ADSI Edit, and DNS Server, and that is Group Policy Object. And uh, mostly what we do here. Creating users, creating computers, creating groups, creating OUs, everything is here. So you can see one OU here, domain controller, and your server that was available here. So it is already automatically moved here in this folder. So you can do here NS lookup. Type your DC server name or DC name DC01. Then you see DC01 dot kernel dot land IP address it is. We can also see some other information. It has installed the DL server. We have some these information. Forward local zone, reverse local zone. We also have here, as I said, we are also creating sites. So, okay. Sorry, this is trust. Okay. Activate site and services. As I said, we are creating first site as well. So it is given the name default first site. And here, if you go here, you will see your server name. And you can open the PowerShell and see some other information. get hyphen ad forest okay before that we should run something import hyper module active directory And we can try to run the same command get I have an AD for us. Yeah, you have this information here. This is my domain name here. You can see. Here. This is my root domain. As you can see here. You can also run another command. Get have an AD domain. We have a net virus name. Everything you can get from here that are interested. And we can also run command to see. 
how many DCs we have here? Q U E R Y T C. Okay. Get commands. List down the, all the DC in the domain or for us. So that's all for this video. We will cover rest thing in the up in upcoming videos. So if you learn something new, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.